not true. Well, they've been... How many times in these cases have we found out that the cops had lied about what happened? Um, it happened in the Eric Garner case. Did it happen in the Brown case? No, the cop was right in the Brown case. It says, this is completely a lie. I was there. I watched the whole thing. There was no advancement. There was no reaching for anything. The guy was wearing basketball shorts like I am. It's kind of hard to conceal anything or hide anything when that is all that you have on. A clearly shaken Cochran told reporters. What a brave person. As soon as the gunshot happened, I froze, he said. Nobody resisted. There were no weapons. Nobody was making any resistance or trying to keep anybody from doing their job. Volusia County Sheriff's Office narcotics investigators and the street crimes unit were attempting to serve a search warrant at the residence. They were met with resistance and the shooting occurred, the County Sheriff Ben Johnson said in a statement. Cruz's actions caused the deputy to perceive a threat. Well, I, there's been instances where 10-year-olds have uh, told cops they were perceived threat and they got tased. It doesn't mean anything anymore. It's an excuse is what it is. That was said from the Sheriff's Office spokesman Gary Davidson. He told the Orlando Sentinel, adding, It has since been determined that Cruz wasn't armed. Police claim that investigators have searched the house and found 217 grams of marijuana and other marijuana-related paraphernalia. This is why the drug war needs to end. I don't care if he had 217 pounds of marijuana. Shooting somebody over weed. It's more like shooting people over income tax evasion. It's more like keeping the drug war alive and keeping the money coming in. That's really what it is. When you, you follow it, nobody dies over weed. You know exactly what they killed this person for. It says the officer who shot Cruz had been placed on administrative leave pending an investigation by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. You know what? This is absolutely ridiculous. No-knock raids are being abused in the way that everybody said they would when they became uh, more standard back when I was too young to even know what was happening. Every fear, if you look up the old articles that they had, has come true. I know you guys are going to ask, by the way. That's by KC, the artist KC, K-E-S-E-Y. Signs them as a K and a C. Excellent. Um, NASA.gov. Two more stories to get to. We're going a little bit long today. Um, this is very science-y. I have had a lot of people that tuned in and really, really like the science stuff that I do. I also do news from the science front on the Media Speaks at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time each and every Saturday. But we're going to go to this one here because I can't possibly get to all of them on the science front. I've been backed up lately. NASA telescopes gives shape to a furious black hole winds. And NASA's nuclear spec spectroscopic telescope array and ESA's XMM Newton telescope are showing that fierce winds from a supermassive black hole blow outward in all directions, a phenomenon that had been suspected but difficult to prove until now. This discovery has given astronomers their first opportunity to measure the strength of the ultra-fast winds and prove that they are powerful enough to inhibit the host galaxy's ability to make new stars. This is interesting for those of you that are, uh, like I am, a little bit on the fence about this whole dark matter thing. I, I don't really, I don't want to say I don't believe in it, but if I was asked if I did or didn't, I'm leaning towards don't. And a lot of the findings that you'll see here will... Um, kind of probably lean you more in my direction here. It says, we know black holes in the centers of galaxies can feed on matter, and this process can produce winds. This is thought to regulate the growth of the galaxy, said Fiona Harrison of the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, Cali. Harrison, it says, is the principal investigator of New Star and co-author of a new paper about these results appearing in the journal Science. Knowing the speed, shape, and size of the winds, we can now figure out just how powerful they are. It says supermassive black holes blast outer blast matter into their host galaxies with X-ray emitting winds traveling up to one-third the speed of light. In the new study, astronomers determined PDS-456, an extremely powerful black hole known as the quasar, more than 2 billion light years away, sustained winds that carry more energy every second than is emitted by a trillion suns. 
That's more energy than it would take to revive Hillary Clinton's career. It says, uh, we know quasar winds <coughs> significantly contribute to mass loss in a galaxy, driving out its supply of gas, which is the fuel star formation, said the study's lead author, Imuli Nardini of Keele University in England. It says it's a great example of the synergy between uh, the new star and the Newton. So there you go. Interesting for those of you that like to follow the science news, those of you that enjoy that side of the show. Very interesting studies because it proves that the uh, the forces that are all around us are, are through the roof. Don't forget we have, uh, oh, I want to say it's happening Friday, a major event going on again I, last friday i think it was the three it was the uh it was the uh the three the three what the trilogy i forget what it's called the trilogy of stars or something but anyway three things that never line up like eclipses and uh time changes for the planet everything shifted and i know there's another one i thought i, I did write it down yeah a uh, huge asteroid to fly by Earth at 37,000 kilometers an hour. And I'm going to do it real quick. I wasn't going to do this, but if I don't do it now, it's going to be dated. Don't worry, fans that like the dumb D of the day, you're going to get your dumb D. It's, it's bad. RT, huge asteroid to fly by Earth again. Happens Friday. It says a 1,000 meter wide asteroid is heading towards Earth this weekend. Its course will reach the closest point of our planet on Friday, according to NASA. Traveling at a speed, again, 37K. In 2014, YB35 asteroid is set to approach Earth from a distance of 4,473,807 4, kilometers, or 11.7 times further away than the moon. Friends, that is like in your back pocket compared to the, the enormity of what we're talking about here. And it's going to come back again, um, I believe it's uh, in 2033. So those of you that have clear skies are going to want to see that and it will awaken you to the majesty of God. I'm dead serious. i be wiped out in a millisecond. Literally an asteroid that could uh, lead to the, if it hit the planet, it would be a, uh, a life-killing event. We would die off like dinosaurs. We're going to get a real good glimpse at one of them, friends. All right, those of you bored to death by science, and I hope that's nobody, Mikhail Phelan, PrisonPlanet.com, gives us the dumdy of the day. Snoop Dogg joins the campaign to stop investments into gun companies. <clears throat> now, keep in mind, this is somebody who is surrounded, when he does shows, by bodyguards who have guns. This is a man who has made his entire career off of singing about guns. This is a man who is dumber than a doorknob. Um, again, all image, no talent. He looks like a hard ass. He sings about hard ass topics. He raps about hard ass topics. Not even, the man makes up his own words to rhyme. He really isn't all that talented. Yes, I've seen him at Lollapalooza. I've heard worse. I don't know. That's about all I can say. But I really, when you're talking about eliminating a God-given right to self-protection, you have to question if the man is even familiar with the history of the Second Amendment. Does he know that he would still be a slave, possibly, on a plantation if it wasn't for the Second Amendment? And while I don't really like the man, obviously I'm anti-slavery. Does he realize that one of the things that keep free men free is the right to bear arms? That's why he gets the dumb deal of the day, friends. Famed rapper Snoop Dogg has become the face of the new campaign to eliminate investments into American gun companies. Known as the Unload Your 401k, the project aims to convince 401k holders to contact their financial advisors and demand that any gun investments be removed immediately. What pisses me off even more about this is this is the exact thing that I've been begging all of you to do on mutual funds with nuclear companies. By that I mean Westinghouse and GE. Don't forget, General Electric is TEPCO. And TEPCO created the worst meltdown in all of human history. It's going to create cancers all over the world. It has destroyed the Pacific Ocean. And... 
if you're in if you're in a mutual fund that's invested in anything nuclear, you're part of the problem. When I had a mutual fund and I don't anymore, I was uh, in a uh, infrastructure mutual fund. I was uh, building bridges with my money, so to speak, but not helping the nuke industry. This bonehead wants you to get out of certain 401ks over the right to protect yourself. Idiot! It says, inside many of our 401k retirement portfolios are three public gun companies. The campaign's website states, find out if they're in yours and learn what you can do about taking them out. This is the most idiot. If it wasn't for the Second Amendment, this bonehead wouldn't even have a career. It says the YouTube video promoting the campaign, which has all comments and rating abilities disabled in a clear attempt to control public opinion, features Snoop as well as several other celebrities. I'm unloading for my loved ones that I lost, Snoop says. I'm going all in for gun-free investing. As he's surrounded by people with guns. Using carefully selected gun statistics that ignore the 75% drop in gun crime that's happened in the last 20 years, and the fact that firearms are used more than 760,000 times a year to defend against criminals, many of which are his fans, the campaign makes the assumption that a boycott of gun manufacturers will somehow equate to less violence. In other words, if you can't defend yourself, then it's going to help you. Because if we take guns, if we make guns illegal, then criminals won't use guns anymore. And you can tell, because they made marijuana illegal, and nobody uses it anymore. That's why he's getting the dumb deal of the day. Snoop actually came to us, said Jennifer Fiore, spokesman for a campaign to unload, a sponsor of the project. We're really glad to have him as part of this. It's helping bring awareness to a lot of people. Yeah, awareness on that you can't defend yourself when his fans come to shoot you down. I'm being facetious. I know that 99% of Snoop Dogg fans have never shot anybody. I'm just kidding. It says he went on to claim that the campaign was not anti-gun, but merely anti-gun lobby. No, they want to make you stop investing in the companies that are keeping you safe. That, friends, is the dumdy of the day. You're listening to The Correct Views going a little bit long. Thank you for staying with me. Again, please donate to us if you can. You will find us on Kickstarter. The link was at the beginning of the show. And uh, you can also donate to this show at thecorrectviews.hotmail.com. Every penny that you give to me does go towards a better show. You can look us up at themediaspeaks.com where Kyle Court D. Lake and myself are always posting. Thank you for tuning in, friends. Good night, God bless, and hit subscribe.